guys welcome back to my channel my name is Denise and this is the 11th of February um, if you cannot tell I have got the worst cold in the world again um, oh my throat is absolutely killing me um, I don't know whether there's going to be much footage today um, just because I really do not feel well um, I really enjoy vlogging and that is I look forward to it I know it sounds really odd if you <laughs> if you don't vlog but I really look forward to it um, and being ill just makes you not want to do anything at all um, I have got up and put my onesie on it is clean <laughs> my clean pajamas um, I love this because the hood oh if I can lift it up oh <laughs> the hood has got little ears on it how cute it's so nice um, but anyway uh, I'm just going to edit yesterday's vlog, um, we went to the Floating Lotus restaurant, it was really nice, I didn't really get that much footage just because it was really noisy, it was really busy, um, I got a little bit of the inside, like looking out and the outside of it, you would have seen that if you would have seen yesterday's vlog, um, but I'm just going to upload it, um, so yeah, but today I think I'm going to um, catch up with some YouTube and just sit there and mong out <laughs> um, if there is anything that I get up to that is worthy of showing you then I will but um, yeah I'm going to see how I feel tomorrow as well and if I really really don't feel well then I'll probably give tomorrow a miss but I will come on and just quickly say that yeah anyway <laughs> um, but I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog drink the rest of my coffee um yeah and that's about it now on tuesdays i normally go to tina's but i have spoken to her today and said that like if i feel like this tomorrow obviously i don't want to give her anything as well as me not being well um but she had sky fitted last week but there's no internet yet um that she had no bt socket so they've had to put in a bt socket for her um and they're coming wednesday so she's got no internet so it'd be pointless me going around there um and i said i'll see how i feel at the end of the week and um go from there basically um so yeah anyway i'm really hot now <laughs> i'm getting hot and cold hot and cold i'm gonna go i didn't feel like this yesterday i felt fine other than my throat um so, oh, God knows. Anyway, I'm going to edit this and um, I'll speak to you later. So I've done a little bit of housework. <laughs> um, but I forgot to mention this morning that I, last night, I finished, I haven't finished, I completed all the rows <laughs> on my socks. I just need to kitchener the toe and then they're done. Um, oh my God, the quickest pair of socks in the world for me. <laughs> um I know that when I was watching Mina, the knitting expat, um, she knit, I think it was like 32 pairs of socks in January one year. Like, oh my goodness. No way. No, no way. Um, crazy. Absolutely crazy. How you knit so quick, I don't know. Um, but I'm still having trouble with um, my finger. Um, I don't know if you can see it like there. It's... Only when I'm knitting socks, I get like a hard skin there. I don't know whether it's where it's rubbing. I don't know. Um, also today I got the new Simply Crochet magazine. Um, it is the spring. It says um, patterns for spring. Um, and to be honest, other than this thing on the front, which is in four ply and it's done with sheep, sheep shears. Anyway, yarn. <laughs> I don't think I would make anything out of that magazine. It also came with an amigurumi little pamphlet thing. Um, yeah, sadly, I don't think I'm going to make anything. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed with... Um, is it Immediate Media or Buy Subscriptions? Whoever organised the subscriptions for um, Simply Knitted and Simply Crochet magazine. Because... I ordered five issues for five pound. That's how I normally buy the Simply Crochet magazines. Nathan, I know you do that as well, but just a word of warning. Um, 
they decided to carry on my subscription for both magazines in January and charge me £26 each. So in January I paid 50 52 50 whatever over 50 pound for my magazines i know it's it's a six month it, i thought it was a quarter but it's not it's for six issues um i didn't realize until i was sorting out some direct debits and that because we've changed electric supplier um and i was changing a few things around on the bank and i noticed that they were holding 26 pound because our bank um We've got sort of two accounts, one where all the money goes into, and then the money for our bills get hold it, held into that account, and then anything left over gets filtered through into a card account. So we have a salaries account where the money goes in, the bills come out, and then a card account where anything that is left over from what we don't need to pay for the bills and everything goes onto our card account, and we can spend that as we want. I was just jiggling a few things around and whatever and I noticed it and they were holding back because um, they hold back monthly unless you tell them it's like every six months or every three months whatever um, where the simply or the subscription magazines um, because it was done by them the bank thought it was every month so I'm like no I haven't got a subscription I went on to my my um, Oh, what was it my subscription.com or whatever it is um i can't remember now um i think i've got it on my phone buy buy subscriptions.com and i've gone on there and i can show you no subscriptions found so i rang them this morning and i said well on my account it's saying that there is no subscription so why have you taken money out of my account and that's fine i don't mind obviously it's gone now I'm not going to get the money back, but at least tell me you're going to put me in, onto a six month subscription. I bought five issues for five pound. So I was a little bit annoyed this morning. Um, <coughs> and then the magazine came. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. So yeah, the magazine came. Um, and I'm not going to make anything out of it. But that's fine. I have cancelled the subscription. I'm going to get six issues of each magazine. And then once that six issues is up, um, I will then decide whether to go for a six monthly subscription again or a five for five pound. I will see what is on offer at the time. Um, so, yeah, that is what's currently happening. Um, a few people have told me that they have used this. Oh, I nearly lost my stitches. This uh cozy yarn before um and someone kindly commented on my video saying they've used 12 balls for a jumper and only one ball did that so yes it's a little bit of a pain in the bottom um but like i said i did find another oh i'm going a bit wonky i did find another ball in my stash where it's done the same thing so it's, it's going to go thin again. Um, so I was thinking of winding this up on my ball winder. And then just noting what balls are going to be um, like this. But then will my ball winder hold the whole ball? That's what I'm thinking. Um, to be honest, if every ball had this in it then i wouldn't mind because i could say what well, it was part of the yarn it was part of the yarn that's how the yarn is um no i'm still still debating what to do um i don't know whether to keep this ball for the front rib and uh, i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i might just knit it up because do you know what i don't mind it it's handmade my hair is like gone wild um it's handmade and it's not too bad i think it will be okay um i'm just gonna go with it and i will wear it so it's not like i'm not gonna wear it because i'm not gonna be pleased with it i love the yarn that's gonna be at the bottom by my bum hopefully no one will be looking at my bum <laughs> it's 
so <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see <laughs> but I'm gonna kitchen the um, toe up then last night I thought oh let me get another pair of or another um, another uh, another lot of yarn ready for my next pair of socks spit it out Denise so if you remember I bought this um, to have contrast heels heels cuffs and toes so I've got that then I bought up um, when I did the mortar yarn <laughs> I bought up um, this which is from Lolly's um, Siberia um, I don't think there's really any other color one it says um, yeah it's just a sock yarn I believe it is um, well, it doesn't actually say that it's got nylon in it. Hmm. But anyway, so that is what I... Oh, it, does it say there? 75% wool, 25% polyamide. So I'm going to knit this with contrast, heels and toes. I don't know whether I'm going to do... No, sorry. Contrast, cuffs and toes. I don't know whether I'm going to do heels yet. Um, so I'm going to cast on with this grey, do my two cuffs and then start with this. Um, and it's pink and it reminds me of rhubarb and custard sweets. So they were, they will be my rhubarb and custard socks. <laughs> um, so yeah, that will be my next pair. But I'm going to Kitchener, the toes of the other ones, and probably knit a little bit on this jumper um, to get the ball that I am currently working on and <laughs> everything's just hooking onto it from the bag um get that done so yeah i'm gonna go <laughs> so i thought i would end today and not forget like normal <laughs> um but i forgot forgot to show you earlier on that i have got a finished pair of socks um they're all done the toes come out really weird and like really square a lot squarer than my other socks I don't know whether I don't know um so yeah they're done I'm really pleased with them they fit really nice I just need to um give them a rinse and put them on the blocking on the blockers even um so yeah I'm really pleased with them I haven't started my other pair yet but I thought I have had a few comments on the yarn that I'm using for the jumper. Now, I have found another ball, like I keep saying, with the thin bit in. What I'm going to do, I have carried on the jumper that I'm making. I'm just putting my stitches on a little bit more <laughs> so they don't fall off. Now, I have got this much done of the jumper. Now, I know the rib does look a little bit weird, but I'm thinking, once it's blocked out a bit, it might look okay. And what I'm going to do is the other ball that has got the fin bit in, I'm going to use for the bottom of the front of the jumper so that the thin bit is at the bottom. Or oh, I'm going to start with that ball for the front. Um, and then if there is any other thin bits throughout the balls that I've got, then they'll just be random. Um, and I will try to see if there is any thinner bits before I start the, the ball. Because um, obviously I don't want any thin bits like across my chest or anything like that. I think that might look a little bit odd. Um, I think I'm blurry, but never mind. Um, so yeah, that is what the plan is. Um, I've been watching a few YouTubers tonight. Um, my sister's got me watching Louise Pentland. Um, and I really enjoyed her, 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 the new weekly she's called it. Um, and also Brummy Mummy of Two. She's really good as well. And I've watched a few of her Panland haul, a Home Bargains haul and things like that. Um, and I really enjoyed them. So if you like vloggy type videos, then go and check them two channels out. Um, and I am thinking of not doing videos like they do obviously because I like knitting and crochet and all yarny things um but maybe
doing a set video once a week of something completely different um, like a haul or a chat or whatever just for an extra video to go up on the channel um, so yeah leave me any comments if you've got any ideas because at the moment I haven't <laughs> so um, and I really need to get into an organization type plan of when I do my craft videos because whenever I sit down think right I'm going to do a craft video I always forget what I've shown the week before or uh, what I've done throughout the week so in my bullet journal planner whatever I'm going to put a little space for every time I do a video just note down what I have shown and spoke about and then in the next box will be what I've done up to the next video so I know what to talk about um, so yeah that is the plan and I might also go back to um, how I used to do it in the very beginning um, I just used to come on when I had something finished or when I was sort of three quarters of the way through something used to come on and say this is my progress um, and all that I just don't know yet um, but I really am enjoying vlogging so that will continue um, for March I don't know whether to go back to weekly or daily or keep daily I'm not sure yet um, I will sort of figure that through out figure that out through the month of February um, but I'm gonna go and um, carry on I've got this much of the first ball um, I'm gonna knit the rest of this and then call this jumper a night um, this shouldn't really take me that long to knit through and um, so yeah thank you for watching and I shall see you all tomorrow bye